subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel each individual is personally responsible for working safely and leaving behind a safe environment after completion of work to ensure there is no ambiguity about this the ship's crew should be familiar and work in accordance to the code of safe working practice for merchant seamen an unsafe working area left behind by this engineer can become a hazard for someone else falling and moving objects are common causes of serious injury on board the crew should keep well clear of swinging and suspended loads anything on board which is liable to shift or move should be securely stowed and lashed hatch openings must be secured and doors never left open free to swim many accidents on board ships are caused by slips trips or falls due to slippery patches obstructions on decks unguarded openings and inadequate lighting on stairs and in companion ways one hand should always be kept free to grasp the handrail when climbing vertical ladders equipment should be carried on an equipment belt leaving hands free to climb openings through which a person might fall such as an open manhole should be effectively fenced or guarded the decks should be kept clear and uncluttered and all loose equipment properly secured and stored away Enclosed machinery spaces or refrigerated compartments should never be entered without proper authorization. Notices should be posted at the controls to warn against operating the machinery under maintenance. Lifting and carrying. Whilst lifting a load, the back should be kept straight. the legs slightly apart and the strain of lifting must be taken by the leg muscles the object should always be held close to the body in order to complete the job of shifting an object quickly and in an easy way the crew often misjudge the weight of the object and succumb to back injury The correct way to complete this task would be to place and secure the load onto a trolley with the help from other crew members and just roll it away. Enclosed space entry. Many casualties have occurred when crew members have entered spaces where the atmosphere could not support life. Before entering such a compartment it is essential that an enclosed space entry permit be obtained from an authorized person the atmosphere of the compartment checked and proper respiratory protective equipment worn working aloft and outboard safety harnesses should always be worn when working at heights or outboard and tools and stores must be raised or lowered by rope in suitable containers health and hygiene keeping fit and staying healthy is as important on a ship as elsewhere Misuse of drugs and alcohol not only affect the general fitness but also dull the senses leading to unsafe situations.
in hot or humid conditions. Salt with plenty of water should be taken to avoid exhaustion and heat stroke. The cleaning of accommodation is to be planned and executed to ensure high standards of hygiene and cleanliness at all times. The personal cleanliness of all crew and especially of the catering staff is of paramount importance. Safety Meetings The purpose of the meeting is to focus on safety-related matters like accident reports, safety procedures and identifying potential safety hazards. In this meeting, crew members are encouraged to participate in discussions and make suggestions to improve safety. Accidents are discussed and analyzed and the importance of reporting them is explained so that serious accidents may be avoided. Accidents are caused by human negligence and disregard for safe practices. It is our responsibility to create a safe working environment for ourselves and others. Remember, if you are alert today, you are alive tomorrow. We are waiting for you to come back home.